What's up guys, it's Talon here. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how you can improve your solo cash cup performance by analyzing top EU pro Snazy and how he plays first overall in the solo cash cup. But before I get into this bot review, guys, if you do enjoy my content or find what I'm telling you helpful, please drop a like on this video, hit that subscribe button, and turn on post notifications. Also, if you wish to support me in another way, use code Talon.fm in the Fortnite item shop, hashtag ad. But without further ado, let's just jump right in. Alright guys, as you can see on the screen, we have Snazy's POV. This is going to be an absolute clinic on how to dominate low ground for the most part, but this first game is actually going to be a good understanding of how to take height and play well, and there's going to be a continual theme, a continual game plan. As you see, this loadout is going to be very similar in almost all of these games. Let's just jump in though. He already has five kills. It doesn't really pick up until more towards end game. And you're going to see him absolutely abuse this Mythic Odd. This is such a good angle that he has. Notice how he never jumps down, never 50-50s. Even when he did all that damage, he stays up. And then he eventually just waits, is rewarded for his patience. He has four floppers, so he's not worried about tanking zone. He retakes the flopper, and then he realizes he has chili chug splashes, so he's just going to go up and out. He's going to be granted what looks like high ground. Now, this is fantastic awareness. Now, look, you wouldn't think that there would be a soul at high ground here, but what does he do? He actually decides to look up, and it, and it ends up working out for him that this opponent actually pads away. Look at how high these people are. And so he's looking to get a free chop down, but instead what he essentially does is getting that person down just because he was so high very fortunate and good awareness now only 200 builds like 25 builds to really work with and it's all wood so this mythic aug is fantastic for pressure as compared to the regular aug i feel like the regular aug is is bad for pressure but you're going to see throughout this is going to grant him so many eliminations from distance in the future and this is going to give enough pressure to bully people down now you see this person goes for height and he's got three flops, so height, or so him taking storm here is not an issue. And as you can see, he goes immediately back to full, and he's just going to continue to drop. And he's going to sit up here on height, and you see just pressuring, 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 getting these people away from him, so height isn't taken from him. He only has seven builds, so he's got to milk it the best he possibly can. And that's what exactly he's going to do. He's going to let everyone kind of fight, and he's just going to pressure whoever he can. Seven eliminations. He's still got floppers, so he's probably thinking heal off even though he probably doesn't have the mats. But this is, again, what do I always talk about? When you are on height, I'm going to pause and say this every time for those who don't consistently watch my bad reviews. If you are in a 1v1v1, so there's three people left, and you are on height, let these two people fight, and then come down. There's very rarely, most of the time, this is what always I see all these professional players do. They stay up, let them finish out, and then come down. Sometimes you'll have the occasional player that'll drop down, but this is the best way to milk that placement and get a win. Usually you'll get him weak, and you're going to see right here. He has no mats right here, but look how weak this opponent is. Literally just one little AR tap, and he's finished. Now game number two. And we already going to see here in this loadout an obvious game plan again. Same thing. Get the Mythic Og, get Peppers, and, and basically play pretty passive. And we see here in a more stacked lobby, we're going to play off a hill. And you're going to see him just get constant eliminations from distance with this thing. Fantastic aim on display here from stage. Look at this. Free elimination. And, and this is just free points right here. He's, he doesn't have to do anything. This is free surge. Another elimination. Oh look, guess what? Far distance. It's got good enough fire rate to get through builds. And look, another long distance elimination. And this is why this game plan is fantastic. And then you're gonna see the peppers on display here and we're much more stacked. Now here, you're gonna see him master low for the rest of this VOD review. The rest of this VOD review, he's gonna be playing low like an absolute demon. He's using the peppers to get heals here. And he's going to get what little mats he can. He's not really going to force any refresh. He can clearly make it to zone, no problem. And look at all this space and low. He gets in. And now he knows immediately, right? This is when you want to start looking for refreshes. And this is, again, where this burst dog has the pressure to be successful. And has a fantastic amount of damage. This refresh is so crucial. It gets him 4-3-0, essentially. And now he can play in, and he's off a of pepper. So an important refresh, and again, you see that Mythic Og being 
essentially broken. You can see Snazy has found something in this particular meta that works incredibly well. Now here again, you see a nice little layer switch to kind of get him off low, but this is what kind of the game plan was. Control low and kill everybody's shambles and get refreshes when you can. And then right here, he doesn't, he doesn't need to go for it. He still has 400 mats. He just uses his pepper to go from back to front. You can see he gets away from everyone, gets ahead, cuts everyone off, controls a ton of space on this low. Trying to get that opponent to make a play. Doesn't force anything. He's still off of Pepper. And then he gets kind of granted where a person has to come through for zone. And this is what controlling all that space is going to do. Now, unfortunately here, he misses the shot. Opponent actually max damages him. But he gets a decent little refresh. Now, very fortunate here that he survives. 4 HP. But then he gets to low, immediately cuts off space. And he's just... He's going to do this over and over and over. He's going to get ahead, cut off space, and basically just cut off and chokehold everyone and he's gonna get two huge impacts this is already a fantastic game but he even look here cracks this opponent one shot 100 gets the siphon and that's just from him being ahead cutting it all off and controlling this low and then again this is this was the kind of maybe a little bit of a mistake he didn't have that good of mats, only like six just builds, so a lot to play with. That opponent has a charge, right? This is, so this is, you have to hit a 200 pump here, right? This is a, still a right hand peak, but the opponent, it's just not tight enough to the wall for it to be. And the opponent's holding that charge, and it's, you never want to make an edit on a charge. That's again something that you rarely see a charge that late. Usually always going to see spazzes, especially in the super stack lobby. But an opponent makes a good play, and then only hits it for 64. But a fantastic game. A lot of eliminations and nearly a top five. Could have maybe played a little bit more passive in that situation. But it is what it is. And then here, comb peeking. Again, some of the, one of your best friends. Now this is moving zone, but comb peeking will always net you important eliminations. And again, a very important refresh. No mats. He doesn't get any much out of it. Pers opponent also siphon. Times that perfectly. And he finds finds an old tarp but again you see him mastering this low he's creating so much space and he's getting all these shambles player low grounds another look just siphon mat refresh now he's kind of fortunate that it's all this area is kind of built in for him this amount of mats usually won't last using what little mats he can to get in the same type story just cutting off the space Four eliminations. Another top 10 situation. He's looking for refreshes. His opponent to drop down. Only hits him for 32. Only one build to his name. Sits there. Waits. Good reload management. And at this point, you know, you're just praying someone doesn't edit down on you. Good movement right here. 64 cracked. Misses the shot. A good AR aim. Gets the pickup. And again, still hasn't left this low ground lair. Has it has enough mats to at least kind of protect his head for a little bit. He gets on a little bit clean lair, building ahead of same same type thing. And at this point, you're just hoping that the other two fight. And that's exactly what ends up happening. The opponents in this particular thing, that person that was sitting on height, goes and fights down, jumps down, and then I don't know if he loses whoever it was, but maybe they're both shambles. But what it's gonna actually allow him to do is he's going to pick up a victory royale from that. He was basically shambles that entire time at endgame, but he effectively used his mats to control low and get a ton of space and make these refresh as well. And he's very fortunate here in this situation, in my opinion, from that person that I'm height, fighting that mid the mid-ground opponent, and then basically getting a nice little pickup in zone. I'm sure he couldn't believe he won that either. Now, again... Now, not the same same game plan in terms of peppers. We don't have the Mythic Og this time. We only have a purple one, but you're gonna still see kind of the same result. The pressure obviously isn't as good. Another long range pickup. Not as much as that, obviously. Now he's got a fortunate pull for zone. We kind of fast forward to him getting into zone. He's got the peppers. Clearly ate a lot. Get a nice free elimination right there. Gold spaz. Only eats for 24, isn't too concerned. 
And then you're gonna do the same thing here. He's like, okay, I got mid layer, it's congested. What is he gonna do? He's gonna drop to low again, do the exact same thing he's been doing. This is kind of really intelligent play right here. Now notice, doesn't have the mats to make it to the circle in ninth. So he kind of lets this opponent go through, make it to where he kind of forgets and Snazy gets the wall. Now the opponent's on a very scuffed lair. And the opponent tries to get up. Fantastic. Gets a finish and a decent amount of builds. Same type thing. He finds Chili Chugs. He cuts this opponent off. Times it perfectly 116. And that opponent's going to die to Siphon, right? Going to get it free. And he's going to do a good job of just navigating this very difficult terrain. Making sure he uses his mats to cover off. And again, controlling space and low ground, again, in another situation where a lot of the builds already placed, fortunately, so he can make these low mats work. But he's done a very good job of knowing when to play the backside of zones and then push up and get refreshes when he has no mats, and as opposed to when to get ahead and when he has those mats. You kind of see the different styles, you know? When you when you have the, the no mats and you can't get ahead, like getting ahead does nothing for you if you're wide open. So what does Sneezy do? If he doesn't have the mats, he lets opponents build for him and then hopefully catch him off guard, which he did for that one opponent, get a huge refresh, and then he gets ahead, cuts off that other opponent, gets another refresh, and then it's gonna basically just sit here. Now this opponent's gonna come right exactly where he is. And again, he's trying to get ahead, use what little mats he has. Now only at 140 HP. Does a great job of recognizing the peanut butter. Opponent's weak, can't even go for the mats. Now this opponent getting in, he had an opportunity to kill him there. I don't think he hits him for 135 or whatever the the pump, one, uh, 145. I don't, I don't think he gets that off, but he had a chance. Uh, correct timing and everything, just didn't hit the shot. No mats, pretty much your best available play. But again, milking these top, top placements on low ground. And again, same thing. Now we see the same game plan. Look, lots of move, that's all we've seen, right? It's movement and mythic aug has been the play this time it's 12 chili chug flashes before it's been peppers and even spicy fish and you're going to see the importance again of this mythic aug from range it gives him so much surge fluffy dolphin 492 i wonder if that's actually wavy jacob look at that he gets another long range elimination and another one so many free pickups not only for surge just important free points another one again so lethal 671 from Surge. I believe he's going to get another one here. Through the card. Look at this. It's absolutely lasers. Almost like he has aim assist. Now 28. And then again, you're going to see him off the movement. Go to low ground. Now I think this is actually where he makes a, a mistake. Later on, I'm not going to say now. But you're going you're gonna to see this Mythic Dog's power. And just a good understanding again. Like I've been saying. This game plan was so well executed. Getting, getting this weapon... It's ab it is so strong for range. He's got picked up s almost seven kills. I believe almost all seven have been with that with the Og, not even using the shotgun really. He gets the refreshes and again off the movement goes from back to front. But still, most of those guys unfortunately were shambles, so not a lot to work with. And I believe the only mistake of this entire VOD review is actually going to come up and why he dies here. I think the thing that he had been doing well in most of the games. And same thing right here. Good recognition. It looks like we have what? 16 builds? We need it. We need this refresh. And we don't care about zone again because we can go back to front. Chili chugs. But we're not just cycling 50-50. Now this is where I think he makes the mistake. He starts building up and out trying to get ahead. And so this is where I think he should make his zone play, right? So this is the only thing I think that he, he doesn't do well i don't know if he didn't realize he he didn't have the mats to make get ahead here and like i, I realized zone was pushing his back but i think he needs to wait and let that develop and then use his use his chili chug so we're, we're in this situation like right here on edge like right here sit here and wait a little bit in the box and then hopefully like let the people above you develop hopefully to a point where you can you can usually outrun them. More than likely, you're not going to just get lasered and fried. Because you get in the situation, it's like, we don't, we have nothing. All of our builds are built. And we get full piece. And we and we essentially waste, six, so the only thing that, again, I think that's the only mistake is there. Got maybe a little bit overzealous to zone and realize he didn't have the amount of max. 
and then probably what he could have done there in that situation sit in that box wait a little bit and then use zone to heal chili chug he's gonna get out of his zone no problem do whatever i'm sure there's gonna be other opponents on low ground he could maybe gotten pick up but an overall an excellent example in most of the games on how to play low when to control space ahead and when to stay back and then get important picks cutting off people on the low just so many good things and yes you even saw in the beginning you saw how to typically play height which is what you typically see for success a very different body review from snazy here but that is going to do it for today's video guys i hope that you did enjoy if you did please drop a like on this video hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications and i hope i'll be seeing you in the next one peace